Hi everyone, my name is Alex Koshelkov and I'm founder and CEO of Criteo. And today is a very special day. We just got a build for the game called Rat and Rake. Some of you guys probably been following the game for, since the Kickstarter last year. And uh, today we finally can try it out. It's a pre pre alpha, a very early build. Uh, I'm gonna check it out and see what's up. So you guys stick around and let's try it out. And today I will command the 511th Ost-West Infantry Corps of the Rat Army. Here you can see that my corps is ready to take on a new mission and are in the middle of a combat briefing. Our goal is to find a missing detachment of Allied fighters from the 14th and 27th Corps. I'm sending my soldiers to complete the task at hand. From the briefing I was informed that we may be met with resistance from the FMR Alliance. Here it seems that our units had collided with enemy and suffered losses. It looks like this is the course I was tasked to locate. Some may have survived. As we continue our mission, we received confirmation in inbound reinforcements. We stumbled upon an enemy patrol that immediately opened fire. Well, that's not a big issue. Let's take them down. I received information that on the hill in front of us there is enemy fortification. The previous dispatch was assigned to destroy enemy ammunition depot, however, they apparently failed. It looks like skirmish with enemy has caused the remnant of missing squad to return to the road and join mine. It seems that there is an enemy choke point ahead. I'd say there could give us a moderate resistance. This guy looks like to be a platinum leader, since he doesn't have a combat rifle. He does however have a revolver and unique painted helmet. The map design is built in a way that I can choose multiple passes to achieve my goal. But since there is a quite a lot of brave rats in my squad, I will send some of them to gain the ground. This platoon will go around. And from here you will see the third platoon that will flank from the right. There are several grenade types available in Rat and Rike. One of them is a good old-fashioned gas grenade, which is being used against us now. I'll have my units put on the gas mask. While my middle platoon is holding against an onslaught and distracting the enemy, I'll order the platoon on the right to begin the attack. We'll try to use frag grenades in order to force the enemy out of the cover. Well, it seems that we managed to eliminate the enemy without too many casualties. Let's continue to move towards the objective at hand. This looked like a village I was informed about. Enemy resistance is more than likely, and Violet recommends reusing frag grenades against enemy fortifications. We'll do that. Here's another platoon leader with a legendary mouse machine gun, Nilius, which I think will open suppressive fire on my troops as soon as we enter their territory. And a couple more mice are fortified on the hill. Let's put on the gas mask just in case an enemy will use the gas grenade. Well, let's give it a go. I'll send a few rat boys through the wheat fields and let others come in from the left flank. Uh oh, the enemy opened a suppressive fire on us. Listen closely to the sound design. I think this game has a pretty great sound that convey the mood of the war really, really well. I don't think we're gonna get any reinforcements in the meantime. The enemy has a pretty strong cover advantage. Let's try to get closer. Let's try to smoke out the enemy with a grenade. Oops, <laughs> my bad. We'll give him a medal for bravery. Let's continue to advance on the left flank. We're suffering losses, but let's push through.
finally we took up a position with an advantage. It seems that the enemy has a few units still left in the village. I'll need to clear village, otherwise it's not safe here. Alright, my units report a sweep of the area. We're good. And here's the general of the Rat Army known as Gies Kaffenkopf. He tells us that we need to move on. There is another enemy fortification in the village further down the road. The previous unit was supposed to get some important data. It seems like we only have four soldiers that survived. I don't know if we can complete this mission with such a limited rat power, but we will try. Well, it seems like much needed reinforcement has been sent in to help us. On top of that, we should have a geographical advantage in this area as we're attacking from above. The enemy is strongly fortified. I don't think this will be easy, but as always, it's worth a try. Let's try it. As you guys can see, unlike in classic RTS, in Rat Reich, the map landscape are quite diverse. As you can see, in this location there are quite a lot of hills, which are not common for other strategy games. This map design will allow us to easily add the first person view, which I think will be quite interesting. We have a lot of fans eager for an FPS mode. That will be awesome. Well, alright, let's start advancing. We'll secure the uphill position and send our machine gunner forward so that we can gain some ground and pin down the enemy. Hmm, he was a good machine gunner. I guess one more medal. Alright, seems safe to move on. It appears that the enemy is hunkered down in the village. Let's try to use our trusty frags once again. Oops, it didn't work out, sadly. Let's try to gut this mouse with a bayonet, and with successful approach, my soldier will go into hand-to-hand -hand combat. And we were lucky. This is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this early sneak peek at Rattenreich pre-pre-pre-pre-pre-alpha build. We're super open for your feedback. Please leave us a like and subscribe to our channel if you enjoyed this video. We're going to share more Rattenreich videos down the road. Signing off. Bye-bye.